Hi guys, this is Safia. So, I am so sorry though the camera's kind of angled funny because I'm plugged this tablet into the charger. I did my first video but the battery was dying so I'm not sure if it went through so I'm going to do it all over again. So this is like the spur of the moment kind of thing. I just got back from taking my son to his orchestra practice and I just wanted to ask a question. You know, y'all know I'm writing a book, right? Or I've written a book. It's called No More. No More... Um, this damn tablet's getting on my nerves. Hold on a second. Um, sorry. <laughs> no more. Um, a woman's guide to abuse recovery. So, in this book, I'm basically using it's a and it's autobiography forward slash self help book. It's not your everyday self help book, and it's not your everyday autobiography. I'm not sharing every detail of my life. No, no, no. I'm using um, areas of my life to illustrate how. Um, where, where, how I've applied certain principles um, in order to heal myself. So I've had to use the stories I've gone through to show that I do know what I'm talking about. It does work. And I give you activities for each chapter. Which means that oh, even though the book may not be large, it will take quite a bit of time to go through it. Because there are activities that are going to take you probably weeks, maybe months, some people maybe days. But if you've gone through traumatic experiences, it's going to take you a good deal of time. So I'm just going to let you know, this is a book, a self-help book. It's like having your own counselor sitting right with you at any time you need her. Um, that is myself. However, I would recommend, it's a good thing, to do, read this book, to do the, the activities, the interactive book, with someone you trust, someone you can be vulnerable with, and that could be a counselor. Okay, so just thought I'd mention that. Now that's just an introduction to my book, which will be out during the spring. Um, I'm working on you know the whole editing and everything. There's not not long, not long before I get it get it out there. Okay, so that's the book. I'm excited about the book. I'm looking forward to see um, the impact it has upon the lives of women out there, as it's had upon my life. Um, and there's nothing guaranteed. Even you know even medication, nothing is guaranteed. Okay. It depends really on how you use it and how fast you want it to help you and how open you are to the process and to the journey because it's not going to be an easy journey. I forewarn you, this book deals straight to the heart of issues in your past. Doesn't It doesn't give you an excuse. doesn't give me an excuse. If I made an excuse for, for my actions today, well, my actions in the past, and when I say an excuse, I'm talking about not a reason. There's always a reason. It's a root. But it doesn't give me an excuse to say, well, I'm always going to be this way. My past determines my future. No. This book empowers you it shows you how how through my life as an example um how your past does not have to determine your future it doesn't have to not because you came from a traumatic abusive upbringing you don't have to attract the same kind of crap in your life you don't have to be poor you don't have to um you know have things bad things always happening to you you know we have to check the mindset that we live with from day to day and really ask ourselves is it serving us if the thoughts that we have about ourselves are not serving us then they often are rooted in some traumatic past experience and therefore we need to check them and that's what this book is about it's about empowering you helping you to make decisions helping you to make I'm not gonna say too much about it but it's empowering you giving you your power back I can finally say that I have I said I would have probably 95% of my power back. The reason why I say 95% is because there's still things about myself I haven't learned yet about myself. So things I'm sure which are rooted in my past. And I'm still digging. So while you're reading this book, y'all, I'm still wor I'm working through myself still. I've, the stuff I shared in the book, I've worked through. But it's still poor. But the thing is, I'm self-aware. This book teaches you to be sensitive and self-aware to when you're actually doing that thing again or, or that, that, that thought process. It doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. It doesn't mean you'll never repeat certain, you know, things which, you know, are rooted in your past. But it means that when you're about to or, when you, or if you've already fallen, you know where it came from. That's power. Power doesn't necessarily mean that I'm never going to feel, um, never going to be tempted to have low self-esteem. I'm never going to feel like putting my head down sometimes. No, you can have those crappy days. But... You will compare it to what you know about yourself. You compare it to the truth about yourself. And this book is there to empower you to do so. I'm here to give you the tools to put your crown back on your head, to be the queen that you were designed to be. This damn tablet is stopping and it's not going to stop me. Okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. Um, that's not really the point of this video. But the point of this video is I wanted to ask a question. Oh my goodness, this thing. I'm rambling and this tablet cannot stand my rambling. The battery's low. I'm going to try to keep still. 
I know, I'm sorry. It's all part of the process, you know. I've got to get some better technology in time, okay? So, I've got a question I'm going to ask to my single ladies. As you all know, I'm single. Some of you may not know that, but yeah, I'm single. Yes, I'm available. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm single with a cause, single for a purpose. I ain't just going with anybody, okay? So I'm kind of choosy. And um, it's okay to be choosy. I know my core values. I know what I want, how I want it, when I want it, <laughs> who I want it with. <laughs> okay, so um, there's a question I want to ask my single ladies. Because, you know, often we think because we've gone through something, we're therefore experienced, and we got it pat down, we, we will never do it again. Really? We'll never experience it again. Really? Why, my phone, why is it we surprised, I put it, a post on Instagram, why are we surprised that we go through, we sit in class, year in, year out, and we got an F. Why is it I failed my class? Well, why are you surprised if you just sat in a class? It's not the sitting in the class that's going to make you pass. Ooh, tweet that. It's not the sitting in the class that will make you pass. <laughs> I ain't no rapper, but I'm a poet, okay? So, that's not going to make you pass. It's what you do with the class. The lesson is there, but it's up to you to learn. I'm dropping it today like it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, inspiration for you. The lessons are there, but it's up to you to learn. It's the same thing. Not because you've gone through a relationship and you've made some mistakes in your choice and whatever. doesn't mean you're gonna not, not going to make them again. doesn't mean you've learned from it. Girl, I suggest before you go into a next relationship like I'm doing myself, take, some, take stock and look back at what Really look back at your relationship, as painful as it may still be, okay? Look back at your relationship. When you're ready, take your time. Look back at your relationship. If it's still painful, then you're not ready to move on yet. But look back at your relationship and ask yourself. Start looking at your past relationships as a lesson book. Every experience is a lesson curve. Every ex It's not a cliche, you know. Every experience is a lesson to be learned. Our teachers don't just come in the form of books, in the form of schools and, and educational uh, institutions. They also come in the form of experiences and bad choices. Okay, hello, somebody. <laughs> I've made plenty of them. Not proud of them, but I ain't going to hide them and be ashamed of them because I'm a human being. I allow myself to be human. That's a beautiful thing about me. I love being my, love being me. Love being me. Even if I'm human. Even though human humanity stinks sometimes. It's me. Okay? And so I accept my flaws. So what I'm saying is, look back at your experience and see, this is a, there must be lessons here. Not just about the person. Yeah, next time I'm not going to choose someone who does that. Okay, okay, fine. But you also need to learn about yourself. Because no matter what, there are lessons in there that you can learn about yourself that you won't do again. Take some stock and ask yourself. Really write them down. Ask yourself questions. I'm just, I, I'm doing this with myself. Why did this relationship end? Yes, I know he did what he did, but did I contribute to its demise? What, uh, why did I make the choice in this relationship to actually be with him? What was it about him that drew me to him? Why did I feel that was a good, still good enough standard for me? Um, what things did I do wrong? Did I give too much? It, and some of the things might not be anything bad. It couldn't be. I just. I rushed into it, or I gave my heart too soon, or I trusted him without him proving himself. Whatever it is, write them down. Ask yourself what you learned from it, why you did what you did, and what you can do next time. And don't put them in a the negative. Don't say, I will never choose a man that does this. I will never yell. You do it in the negative. Let me tell you something. I'm talking about the law of attraction. The law of attraction don't give a crap about what you say about the situation. As long as you talk about the subject, it will attract the subject. So if you say, I never will, I never gonna meet a man that will abuse me. Just, just forget the word abuse. Just say, I will choose health, I'll make healthy choices in, in my friendships and therefore in my relationships. You know what I'm saying? Speak it in the positive because the person that says, I will never be like my mama often ends up being like their mama. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's just something I want you to do. And I want you to drop. Drop it in the comment section like it's hot. I'm serious. Be vulnerable. Okay, you may not want to go into detail, but if you can list something we won't expose too much about you, then direct message me. Okay. Or, if you don't want to share it with me or with the public, then write it down for yourself, but just let me know that you're doing the, the exercise. Let me know you're on it. Let me know you're doing the exercise. So actually stop and ask yourself. Look at the last relationship. Just the last one. Some of us got a, like, a catalog of relationships. Okay, and don't get overwhelmed. Take one at a time if you have that. Just take the last one. 
and ask yourself those questions. I'm not going to repeat them because I don't remember them. I just said it right now. So just go back on the video. All right. I want to go and spend some time with my kids. So take care. Have a great day. And don't forget, no more. A Woman's Guide to Abuse Recovery is coming out real soon. Keep your eyes open and stay on this page.